Titanium is as strong as steel, but 45% lighter, providing significant benefits in efficiency and performance for industries such as aerospace, military, and sporting goods. Its identification by William Greger in the 18th century marked a milestone, and over time, its extensive utility and superior properties have not only transformed engineering paradigms, but also significantly contributed to medical advancements through its biocompatibility. In 2023, the global market value of titanium was projected to grow to nearly 31 billion US dollars, reflecting its indispensable role across various sectors and highlighting its critical importance and the innovation it brings to modern manufacturing and technology. So how is it made? The production of titanium begins with the extraction of its primary ore, ilmenite and rudel, from the earth. These ores are predominantly found in mineral sand deposits spread across various parts of the world, with significant concentrations in Australia, South Africa, Canada, and Norway. The extraction process involves dredging or dry mining techniques where the ore is separated from the sand using gravity and magnetic separation methods. Heavy machinery and specialized equipment are employed for the extraction. In dredging, large ships with dredging equipment scoop up mineral-rich sand and transport it to a processing plant. For dry mining, bulldozers and excavators uncover and transport the ore to the processing facility. At the facility, further separation using high-tension rolls, electrostatic plates, and magnetic separators efficiently isolates the titanium ore. Once extracted, the raw titanium ore undergoes a series of treatments to extract the titanium dioxide, used as a white pigment in paints, sunscreens, and food colorings. This involves chlorination in the presence of petroleum coke, converting titanium ore into titanium tetrachloride through the Kroll process. This process not only serves industries requiring the pigment, but also marks the beginning of transforming titanium ore into a metallic form. The titanium dioxide it is further refined through calcination, where it is heated at high temperatures to result in a pure, powdery form. This refined titanium dioxide is then packaged and distributed for use in various industries, enhancing the color and opacity of products with its brightness and high refractive index. Shifting focus back to titanium metal production, the Kroll process remains the dominant method. This involves reducing titanium tetrachloride with magnesium in a sealed reactor at temperatures exceeding 900 degrees Celsius, or 1650 degrees Fahrenheit, producing titanium sponge and magnesium chloride. The titanium sponge then undergoes vacuum distillation to remove excess magnesium and magnesium chloride, resulting in pure titanium. The sponge is melted in either a vacuum arc furnace or through electron beam melting to produce ingots. The vacuum arc furnace creates an electric arc between the titanium sponge and electrodes within a vacuum, melting the sponge without introducing impurities. Electron beam melting uses a high-energy beam of electrons focused on the titanium, melting it in a highly controlled manner. These ingots can then be processed into various shapes and sizes through forging, rolling, and extrusion to meet specific industry requirements. This series of processes from ore to finished product not only requires significant energy input, but also precise control to ensure the titanium meets the high quality standards required for its end use in aerospace, medical implants, and other critical applications. The next steps focus on refining these ingots into the final, application-specific products. The process from ingot to a finished piece involves intricate and specialized techniques tailored to the unique requirements of each industry utilizing titanium. Initially, the ingots are subjected to heat treatment. This critical process adjusts the titanium's microstructure, optimizing its strength and flexibility. The precision in the heat treatment process is vital for applications where titanium's strength-to-weight ratio is essential. Subsequently, the titanium undergoes machining, where it is shaped into its final form. Due to titanium's inherent toughness, this stage necessitates the use of specialized machining tools and techniques. Milling, turning, and drilling transform the titanium into a myriad of parts, from intricate medical implants to robust components of aircraft. Efficiency in the machining process is paramount, given the high value of titanium and the intensive energy required in its production. To achieve the necessary surface qualities and ensure functionality, titanium parts often undergo additional finishing processes after machining. These processes, including grinding, 
polishing, and sometimes coating are tailored to the specific needs of the product. Whether it's achieving a smooth finish for biocompatibility in medical implants or applying protective coatings for enhanced durability in aerospace applications. Quality control is a continuous theme throughout the titanium manufacturing process, ensuring that each product not only meets, but exceeds the demanding standards of its application. Dimensional accuracy, material composition, and functional performance are rigorously tested, often using advanced non-destructive methods such as ultrasonic testing to identify any internal discrepancies without damaging the part. Once titanium has been transformed into its final form, it is utilized in various sectors, each with unique applications that leverage titanium's exceptional properties. In automotive engineering, titanium enhances vehicle performance and efficiency, especially in high-end and performance vehicles that use it in valve springs and exhaust systems. Titanium valve springs reduce engine weight, improve efficiency, and allow higher rev limits. Titanium exhaust systems, lighter and resistant to corrosion in high temperatures, result in durable and high-performing setups. These components are precision engineered from titanium alloys to meet the demands of automotive performance, blending strength, durability, and lightness. In the aerospace industry, titanium is vital due to its strength-to-weight ratio and corrosion resistance. It's used in structural components like fuselages and engine parts, crucial for their durability under extreme conditions. Titanium compressor blades in jet engines highlight its tolerance to high temperatures and stress, leading to more efficient and powerful engines. Additionally, titanium finds use in fasteners, landing gear, and hydraulic systems, exploiting its properties to improve aircraft performance and safety. In the medical sector, titanium stands out for its biocompatibility, making it ideal for implants such as hip and knee replacements. These devices are engineered to replicate the movement of human joints, enhancing mobility, and reducing pain for patients. The key attributes of titanium, including its resistance to corrosion by bodily fluids and its capacity to bond with bone tissue, ensure the durability and success of these implants. Precision machining and 3D printing are utilized in their production to achieve components that precisely fit individual patient anatomy. Beyond joint replacements, titanium's applications extend to dental implants, bone screws, and pacemakers, capitalizing on its non-toxic and strong properties. This direct application of titanium in healthcare highlights its crucial role in advancing medical treatments and improving patient outcomes. Titanium recycling is essential for industry sustainability, with around 30% of titanium in manufacturing coming from recycled materials. This process reduces the environmental impact and saves the energy needed for titanium production from ore. Recycled titanium primarily comes from industrial scrap, defective parts, and end-of-life products. A key step in recycling is separating titanium from other metals and impurities, using magnetic separation and other sorting methods. The cleaned scrap is then melted in a vacuum or inert atmosphere to prevent contamination. This recycled titanium can be used directly for casting or transformed back into sponge form and processed through the Kroll process, similar to virgin titanium ore. Recycling titanium consumes only about 5% of the energy needed for production from ore, significantly lowering its environmental footprint. 